to step there. Sit down, love. I'm going first. <laughs> okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to get a leash on her, and then I'll hand her to you. And when I do, we'll just start with you just walking her around the room, okay? okay. I'll move this leash out of the way. Like I said, we expect her to be excited here. However, that's why she's here and we're doing this conversation.
Gave her a little money there yeah. on that 10. But you feel how there's no tension in the leash. It's mm -hmm. nice and relaxed. Looks great. I try place again. I just walk her right over and okay. I tell her Maggie place when I get close there. Maggie place. Good. No correction this time. Now I tell her down. Down. Oh, way better. I pat her this time. Really good. Down. Yep. Now I just stand up and I tell her down. Down. There I got her on an 11. Okay. Much better. Down. Yep. Great job. I'm like you. I don't pet her unless she's staying in the down for me. Much better. There I tell her no. Down. Good. If she gets excited, tries to mount at you when you leave, I just tell her no. And we'll give her a little correction when we come. Good stuff. Now I just tell her Maggie heel. Heel Maggie. Maggie. Very good. There, I gave her a little tap on her e collar. Good, yeah. I just tell her heel. Great job. Good job pulling her leash there. And I do this just throughout the day, five minutes at a time, ten minutes at a time, you know? And it works her mind. And she, okay. needs, she needs that mental stimulation. Okay. You know? Very good. So we can do this in the house. I do it in the living room, okay. in the kitchen, in the garage. Okay. Absolutely. Now you know, just tell her heel. Yep. Good job. But yeah, I do it anywhere I can, especially if it's hot outside. I, yes. I haven't left nothing out there. Thank you. I'm going to do it in here, you know? Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, if you want to take her to the cop and tell her Maggie Place. Maggie Place. Good. Place. Uh, walk her right over. Nice job. Mmm. Much better. Down. Nice job. Down. Go right. Yep. Nice job. Much better. You're setting a new standard for her, you know? No. Now I just tell her place. Place. Uh, Do we need to get one of these? That one's yours. It'll, oh. come, it'll come home with her. You paid for it. Then okay. it comes in, yeah, it comes in the price along with this e-collar, too. Oh. Yep. So it comes home with her. And that way you kind of bring a piece of training home. And it all comes back really nice. Now, you see how she's got her hips squared off again? Yes. I would just tell her down. Down, Maggie. So there was a 12. That's much better. Please, now, we're going to introduce the idea of her staying there now, okay? I just drop the leash and I start to walk off. If she follows you, you'll just tell her no and take her back and tell her place. We kind of want her to get up at some point here so we can practice that. But if she doesn't hear, she will when we do it at your house. Normally we'll have her with her head down. Right now we're letting her have it up because she's panting and working. So she's breathing a bit harder. But you're going to see in here in a few minutes, the head will start going into a down and she'll go to sleep. Very good. It's good she's got you on the brain. She's paying attention to you, you know. Very good. As you're walking around, if you see you guys meet eye contact, I just tell her, good girl, good. And she's not coming out of her skin this time either, you know. Mm -hmm. I maybe go in and try petting her and see how she handles that. Down. Yeah. Great job. Girl. Much better. <laughs> Good. Now here I just tell her no. Place. Place. Good. Place. Nice. And then a down. Girl. Really good. That was a good conversation. Very nice. Now I just walk around again. We'll see if she tries getting up. We're going to slowly up the challenge to where we can get you to, our goal is to be able to have you sit on the couch and her stay in place. Okay. I'll walk back I was going to say, as you feel comfortable, I'd make your way over there. We'll see how she handles it. Good girl. Very good. Good girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. She needs <laughs> Sure, that's Maggie. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> She's in there. <laughs> The Maggie 2.0, I call it. <laughs> Good job. Good girl, yes. She's working hard, isn't she? Yeah, she's trying, huh? Okay, heel, heel, Good. heel, heel. no. Yeah. Good. Good adjustment. I got around a 10 there. So how long do we use the collar? Oh, good question. 
Ultimately, I keep the collar on them indefinitely. How often I use it will be dictated on how consistent I am. So if I'm really consistent with her, I won't have to use it much. But I keep it on her every day. That way, if she does blow me off, I'm able to correct it every time. And that keeps her honest. So I put it on every day. I've got you guys a buckle collar on there, so you just buckle it on, buckle it off whenever you put her in for bed at night and take it off. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's water right here for her. She's working she hard. A lot of water. She does drink a lot of water. What questions do you have so far? Okay. Where should we put the crit since she's going to be sleeping in it? I put it in the living room, maybe, or any den or separate room away from the bedroom. Okay. If she's close enough to the bedroom, she'll feel a certain sense of security just being able to hear you guys. Okay, so we could stick her in the next bedroom with the door open. Sure, okay. sure. That sounds great. Okay, heal Maggie. Yep. Good stuff. Right now, you're practicing the loose leash heel. I do this in the house all day long. And you're mentally working her just as hard as if you worked her all the way up the street. Okay. It's really good for her. Yeah, now when you take her for a walk, uh -huh. how long is that? Well, with this weather, you got to really be careful, especially with her. She doesn't like the heat much. No. Um, <laughs> you know, so I'd say maybe 10 minutes. Okay. If you get out there early in the morning, in the afternoon, you know. As it cools off, 20 minutes. Okay. But she definitely, her little legs pump and she tires out pretty quick. Well, and we don't have uh, sidewalks. Oh, and the cars is, you get people who fly by, etc. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So I was thinking of taking her to the Commons. Oh, yeah. Or waiting. Oh, yeah. Until school's out. Yeah. And take her over to the school. Oh, there you go. Plenty of open space there. Yes. And that's a good place to start. Plenty of space. And then if she gets too worked up at a distraction, you've got plenty of room to move away and work at it again. This looks good. She's a good girl. Good girl. Now let's just try a sit, see how she's doing with the sit. Maggie, sit. Oh, good girl. really good. That's a, no. There you go. Good girl. Good yes. job. You're doing great with not petting her when she's excited and crazy. <laughs> good. <laughs> because that's the way we know her. Yes, yes, it's good. As soon as you see that Maggie coming out, yeah. I wait, and then when she's doing this again, I give her a praise. Let's try one more sit. Sit. Really good. <laughs> Great eye contact. Good. Anytime I get that, I praise her all day long, you know? Yes. It's really good. Good job. <laughs> okay. Heel. Heel. There, I gave her a little reminder on the table. Okay. Now, what is this called again? Place. Oh, okay. Good question. Place. So you've got heel, that's walk with me, stay here inside. And then place, get on the bed and relax. Place, baby. No place. Yep. Good job. Really good. And this time she's going right into the down before you even tell her to. Really good. I might even try petting her here and see how she handles it. Good girl. A lot yes. better. A lot better. Good girl. Really good stuff. And then puts her head right back in. Really good. She's in a good state of mind. Now we've got her choosing to try to relax instead of choosing to try to get excited. Mm -hmm. Working on a good association with you guys with her. Really good. <laughs> and know that I am recording all of this and I'll send you a copy of it too. Oh, okay. And that way if you have any questions. Helps. Oh yeah, absolutely. If you have any questions, I'll be able to answer them and then you'll be able to replay the mm -hmm. answer as many times as you need. Okay. I don't know if you remember that brown pillow we had. Oh, there. yeah, the big one. Can she lay on that? Absolutely. You tell her place and you put her on there. And know that she's used to staying in place for an hour to three at a time. 
So you put her on that bed and you can sit back and watch a movie or take a nap and she should stay in place. Watch football. Amen. It's about that time of the year, isn't it? It's just getting started. Yes. Yep. Ready to see Tom Brady win another Super Bowl. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> Okay, you've answered all my questions. Well, good. I'm happy to hear that. I can tell you she looks really good with you for day one, especially. Um, with how excited she was, remember when you dropped her off, she was doing kind of the shaking she was doing just now. And she's got so much excitement, she doesn't know what to do with it all. So now we're giving her something productive to do with it. Right. Heal, Maggie. Heal. Good. Heal. Very good. Good girl. And it's great, you'll see her tire out a lot faster than usual, too. Heel, heel. Yeah. <clears throat> About putting her out in the backyard and just letting her go. Uh, Y'all have been sitting back there with me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you saying is that? So, like right here, I just tell her sit. Sit, Maggie. Sit. Sit. Good job. Good. I get her in a good habit of whenever we stop and chat, going into a sit. Um, to answer your question, I still let her have that free time out there. Maybe you start with uh, her dragging a long leash, and that way you make sure she's coming when she's called. Here, I just tell her sit. Sit, baby. Good job. Um, I have her dragging a long leash around. That way, if she blows you off while you're using this, you can go over there and grab the leash. But you're going to get comfortable within a few days and be able to take that off. She should be coming to you when she's called, and we can practice that at the take room session also. But especially if you've got a fenced in lot, you want to be able to let her go out there and run around. As long as she's coming when she's called, I give her that freedom. Okay. I, I work up to that by starting with like a 20 foot leash dragged behind her. That way, if she blows me off, I can just step on the leash and correct her, and exactly. then she comes back, you know? But once she's consistently listening to me with the long one on, I'll take that off. Okay. This is much better. You see how now she's staying in the sit while we're having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Very nice. Now here I just tell her sit. Sit. Good. And then if you wanted to even put her into a down. Oh, she goes down. Oh yeah. Down. I tell her down. Down. Good. Give her a little correction here. Nice. This will be a great challenge for her. First time having you sit down and relax. Now. If she doesn't need sniffing, stuff like that, just tell her, no. No. No sniffing. Mm -hmm. Nothing there for you. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'll tell you what, if I leave anything, she will find it. Right? Oh, yes. No? Now, here I just tell her, down. Down. Down, Maggie. Good. First time her relaxing with y'all sitting there relaxing is very challenging. The sitting down for most dogs is an invitation to jump up. Uh-uh. No? Now. Uh-huh. I know what she wants. Oh, I think she's going for dad here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which, that's okay. And if you want to let her, let her see him, we can. And if she gets too crazy, we just tell her no. And give her a little pop of the leash there. This is good, though. Nice, relaxed, down. Very good. Much better. Sorry, that couch sits pretty low. I fall asleep. I got bad knees. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I need to put it on something a little higher. Um, it sits so low, I find myself dozing off in it pretty often. Oh, yes. <laughs> Isn't that what couches are for? <laughs> Absolutely. Heel, baby. Good job. There she goes. Good. Just a sniff. Now I'll just tell her, Maggie, heel. Heel, Maggie. So I'll say her name Maggie. first, and then I'll give her the heel. Maggie, heel. There you go. Nice job. All right. There you go. Give her a little fraction she ran by you there. We're on a 12. And you'll also have that written down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because this is pretty in depth. Yes. So I'll write this down for you, and I'll have this video for you as okay. well. Very nice. Yeah, this thing has like a, a quarter mile range on it, so you don't have to worry about running out of distance in the yard or around the house. That's the only thing we worry about. Oh no, this thing, yeah, it's got a really solid distance on it. 
Very Do nice. to be charged or anything? Good question. It does plug into a charger just like this here, and it charges up usually within 30 minutes to an hour or so. Charges it right up. I usually charge it each night. Yes. Yes. Just like we do work ears. That's right on. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That's a good way to remember. Yes. You're charging her listening ears. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Along with my hearing ears. Yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Nice. On a nine. Now we'll see if she can try putting her in place, and then we'll see if you can sit down and her stay in there okay. this time, and we'll give everybody a break. Place Maggie. Maggie, place. There you go. Maggie, place. Good job. Down. Nice. Good girl. Good. I'll sit on the arm. I was going to say that would don't go all the way down. <laughs> now. Down. Oh, great, great correction there. That was a nine. Now, here, we're going to go ahead and have her put her head down now because she had it down this is the so I'm going to go ahead and tell her down. Down. Now wait a second. Good. Really good. She's definitely very excited to see it all initially. Now what I do is each time her head comes up, I just say down, and I pair that with a tap. We're on a level eight now. I come down as she's coming down and coming mm -hmm. down, I'll bring this level down. Good. If we had somebody come to the door here, I would go ahead and dial up to a 10, 15, because I know she's going to get excited. Mm -hmm. Now here she's been scratching for a while. I'll go ahead and just tell her, down, down, down Maggie, there you go. Maggie, down. Good. Nice job. All right. Now we want those hips to go over and her to just relax. Down. Nice. Good correction there. Now here I give her another one, down. really wants to scratch it. Now this will be a tough part for her because letting her guard down, completely relaxing, going to sleep with you guys here, that would be really good for her to do. Because she thinks she's going to miss something, you know? And that's her challenge. She is nosy. Yes, she is. She doesn't want to miss anything. Now here I just tell her down. question. While they're training, I don't really feed her, so I've been feeding her all throughout the day. Y'all probably were feeding her like morning and evening or so. Well, we keep food in the bowl. Oh, okay, yeah. Essentially, that's what I've been doing all yeah. the uh, Ultimately, getting her to eat all that I can get her to eat to keep up with calories being burned. And then in the evening, you know, we'll give her one of those packets. Yes. She seems to eat that, that with, the, uh, with the dry. Okay, good, yes. A lot of times with the dogs while they're here at training, I'll just feed them the dry food because mm -hmm. the wet food, I'll get an upset stomach because I'm feeding them so much. So I've been feeding her the dry food. Okay. Um, and she's been solid with everything. But I know that for you guys to know. Um, but not uncommon at all. And the reason I still have a wet food here, um, I basically just doubled up on the dry food. Okay. But that's to keep from getting an upset stomach mm -hmm. um, with how much she'd be eating. Now, we've got her in the down here. Her head is down, hips are off to the side. At this point, she should go to sleep. So we're gonna wait for that to happen, and that's ultimately how we would conclude the session, pending you wanna practice anything else, or if you'd like to practice, you just let me know. Um, there's no rush at all. At this point, I've shown you what I'd like to show you for the session. The loose leash heel, sit, down, and place. Mm -hmm. The next session, we focus on the come and call. We'll put her on that long leash there, and we'll have her on that side of the room, and you calling her this side of the room, and then sending her back. Uh, so that would be the focus for the second session. Also, transition your home to your house, uh, which I'm happy to come to the house for that, so it's a smooth transition. Uh, That's yeah. my question. Do you bring in her Tuesday? Uh, well, normally what we'll do is, I certainly can bring her if you'd like, the come and call session, 
Uh, how far away are you guys? I don't want to inconvenience you. If we could do a session here first sure. for the come and call, it would be good. And then we could literally carpool over to your house. I could follow you over to your house. Um, if that's inconvenient, I can deliver not a problem. No, if it's inconvenient to you, we'll take her. Oh, yeah, no, if y'all take her is definitely helpful, but it doesn't matter either way to me. Um, ultimately, with this session here, she looks perfect. Everything looks how it should. And the fact that she is relaxing and not doing any whining right now is really good. And she's digging in and getting more and more comfortable. So she is continuing to go in the right direction and she's to relax. Um, so she looks really good right now. Normally after this session, um, I normally keep the dog, but you could take her if you wanted to, but I normally keep her because I haven't shown you to come and call yet. And then if you get in a situation where you need to call her to you, that could be a yes. huge inconvenience. Yeah. Um, so I normally hold her for this, and that helps to make sure that if you ever board her somewhere, she's okay with seeing you guys and then being left again. Um, so I make sure she does well with that. And then for Tuesday, I believe it's Tuesday, right? Yes. For Tuesday, if possible, if y'all could come here and then take her yes. back with you, yes. that would work great. And I could follow you to your house and then kick a session there too if you'd like. You just let me know. After that session at your house, it's normally up to the families when you have to come back. Some people wait about a week, some people wait a couple of weeks, but once you find things that you're like, eh, I'm not really confident with that, or wow, we're really not doing well with this, let's practice it, you can reach out to me and we'll set up another session. Okay. And then for those sessions, at that point, I just keep coming to your house. Okay. Um, once you're ready, whenever you go to the Commons for the first time, I would love to go with you. So we could go to the park together. That would be a really good experience. Lots of great distractions at the park. Um, huge fan of the commons as well. Yeah, how did she do when you took her out for her? She's done fantastic. We've gone up here to, there's a nature trail up here. A lot okay. of people bike and stuff at, and she's done beautiful with that. Um, so really good. The kids was a good challenge for her. Training in space with my kids playing six and two. Um, she was definitely very nosy, wanting to see what they're doing, wanting to run over there. So she's now able to relax like this in the driveway there while the kids are playing on the other side of the driveway. Oh, okay. You know, so she doesn't necessarily have to mix and mingle, but she has to peacefully relax and not be all crazy and stuff. You know what I mean? Yes. So that's my standard for her. She doesn't get to meet everybody she sees, and I do that with the kids and all the dogs. I don't have to meet any of them for liabilities. But it's good for the dogs to be able to see kids see them playing and not be a part that of that. That was our problem. Really? She would see the kids across the street. I believe it. And oh, loves she kids. she would go and help them. Oh, <laughs> loves kids. Yes. And that's something we'll definitely set up too. Yes. Any door yes. bolting, stuff like that, we put that wall line on her and literally open the door. And if she goes for it, we'll be able to correct her and we'll be able to do that same Yeah, thing. I have a little rope at the house that I've been using okay. when I sit on the side porch. Yeah, that's and perfect. I just put it on my foot. There you go. She goes and then <laughs> okay. Finds the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good here. Very good girl. Know that this is when I give her most of her attention and praise. When she's relaxed in place and I'm cleaning, watching TV, and I look over and I see her doing this well, I go over and praise her and tell her she's a good girl, very calmly, and then I leave her there. And she gets to the point where she knows that this is when she gets our attention. Not that worked up, excited state of mind. Yeah, she's about to go. She is. She do you is. you want to walk her, or do you think you're okay? Well, I think we're okay. Okay. It looks great. I'll be honest with you, one of the smoother take home sessions oh, I've well, had. Thank you. Yeah, that looked really good. I, th I appreciate y'all's patience. Uh, hey, I know it's been a little bit of a we, long stay. We love her to death. Oh, yes. We want it to be right. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to have to use that when my neighbor comes to the fence. You definitely are. Initially, at least. Yeah, initially for sure. All of her old habits, she's going to remember too. And when she comes home, she's going to be like, oh, man, I've been dying to do X, Y, and Z. Uh, but you'll just tell her it's not okay. Yeah, that's a great girl. Now that is to be charged like how, how many days? Of Good question. This charge will normally last you for a few days, but I try to charge it each night. Okay. I think that's best. Yeah, I take everything off of her every night and I just plug it right in. 
and this will turn, there's a light on here, it'll turn red when it's charging, and then it'll turn green when it's fully charged. Same thing for her collar, which I'll show you that at your house, we'll take green collar okay. off. The way they turn on and off, there's not even a button, they just touch together at a certain spot on each of them, so that way she can never scratch it and turn it off herself. Waterproof remote, waterproof collar, so if it starts raining or if you throw her in the pool, she'll be fine. Um, and like I said, quarter of a mile range, um, and it's a very consistent system. If you ever have issues with it, their website, you can reach out to me and I'll do it for okay. you. Uh, but they essentially stand by it for life. Same thing with the training with me. If you ever have any issues with her training or she's being naughty, you just reach out to me and I will come do a session okay. with you guys. Very good. Now, the last thing I'll show you is how to throw in the crate. So, what you do is if you want to just grab her leash and tell her Maggie heel. Maggie, heel. Good. And I just tell her right here, I tell her Maggie, crate. And crate, I just walk Maggie, her right Maggie, Maggie, crate. Good. Crate. Good. Crate. Good Sweet girl. girl. Very good. I'll get her from here for you. Okay. Good girl. Look at how sweet. Wait to get all her stuff off. Good Maggie. Good girl. Say, I'll see you in just a couple of days. Good girl. Okay. Grab all that and just set it. Yeah, this is where she's going to stay. She didn't like it at first, but she's still going to love it. <laughs> There's a dog over in this one, actually. Wasn't a fan of it a few days ago. They come to love it. Once they accept that they can't right, get out. I, I think they realize that it's for their safety and they can rest. Amen. They can rest peacefully. No, nothing's going to mess with them. I'll take That's that for okay. And nobody's going to give them a hard time or nothing. Okay. Well, I'll walk you guys out, and I'll send a copy of this video okay. to you. Uh, but that was really good. I'll double check I've secured this here, and I'll walk you guys out. Any questions for me currently? No. Okay. If you have any, I'll bring it to you.